After my armor rating analysis, it was requested a few times that I cover magic resistance as well. And honestly, there's not a whole lot to cover here. Magic resistance works the exact same way as armor rating. It's a flat value that gets converted into a damage reduction percentage. It even follows the exact same conversion curve. If you want to know how that curve works and what kind of impact it has on your effective health pool, refer back to the armor rating video. Of course, if that was all there was to it, there'd be no point in making a second analysis. There actually are a few key differences between AR and MR. The first major difference is that magic resistance can be acquired not just through gear, but also by increasing your will stat. Each point of will above 5 gives you 3 magic resistance. After 35 will, it becomes 2 per point, and after 55, 1 per point. The other key difference from armor rating is how magic resistance is acquired from gear. You see, with armor rating, different rarities of gear would give different amounts of AR. A legendary plate body can give over 100 AR, but a poor plate body will only give around 60. Magic resistance doesn't work like this. A legendary regal gambeson and a poor regal gambeson both only give 10 magic resistance. Because magic resistance doesn't scale with gear, and because most of the options for gaining magic resistance are cloth and leather items, usually ones that are available to every class, the differences between classes comes down to their will stat, as well as what unique options they have at their disposal for gaining magic resistance. We can see that fighter, cleric, and barbarian are all better off than most classes. Fighter, because of dark plate, Cleric because of their high will and Templar armor, and Barbarian because of their will, uniquely resistant gear in multiple slots, and the Iron Will perk, which gives them a whopping 100 magic resistance. But even with all of that, we see that the effective health pools don't reach anywhere near the extremes that we saw with armor rating. For the heck of it, I also made this table. In this hypothetical scenario, the player is building specifically for magic resistance, wearing at least 3 will in each accessory slot, a 3 will cape, having a plus 1 will enchantment in each equipment slot, and having 15% magical damage reduction enchantments spread across their entire kit. This setup is extremely unlikely. With all of this, the best you can get is a 76% reduction barbarian. At least, if a cleric or wizard were to use this build, they'd do insane amounts of magical damage, but in terms of survivability, it wouldn't be worth the investment. Compared to armor rating, magic resistance is far less available. This past test, I was able to reach 92% physical reduction as fighter, without a single legendary or unique, but that kind of number would be impossible with magic resistance, even with min-maxing your gear and class choice. And that's all there really is to say on magic damage reduction. The same point still stands from the armor rating video, which is that damage reduction as a whole is extremely underwhelming at low values, to the point where you'd be better off unequipping your armor for extra mobility. The rate at which players can boost their damage with gear upgrades vastly outpaces the defense upgrades that are available, and so it's better to plan to avoid damage than to plan to tank damage. Only certain classes with certain special options even have a chance of finding value with this system, and that's only if they specifically build for it. For everyone else, it's an afterthought at best.